Okay, hi guys, I'm back. I, I wanted to show you, um, hopefully you have your drawing here and all your materials for your mask. Um, you need paint, paintbrush, um, what else? Scissors, tape, uh, paper towel rolls, maybe tin foil or extra paper, cardboard. Um, this is probably the most scissors. This is the most materials we need for a project so far. So this one's a little bit more complicated um, we, that I'm gonna try. Also, any paint you have to paint the mask. But the first thing that I want you to do is kind of build the mask. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, on our cardboard here, what we're gonna do is, um, if you have your drawing, what I'm, I'm gonna do is kind of just judge how big your drawing is on the cardboard. And um, based on, actually I'm gonna use this, it's smaller. Um, based on the size of your mask, um, I know that I'm, these feathers I'm going to attach to the outside. So I'm only going to make the mask like an oval um, for the bird's head. And the beak's going to be 3D coming out. So I'm just going to kind of make an oval with my scissors. You can draw it on first. But I'm just going to kind of um, go and make a mask shape, if you can see a mask shape with of an oval with my scissors and the cardboard, okay? I know I'm gonna be attaching a lot of things to this, like feathers coming out. So I'm just making an oval. If you have a certain shape that you have, like maybe it's a lion and you're gonna attach things on his head, or maybe it's a monkey and you have ears to attach, you could also like cut out ears from your cardboard box as well. If your animal has ears, or your animal has thorns, or something like that. So um, I only need to cut out a face right now, but if you have any um, ears or anything, or maybe um, if you're doing a dinosaur, just things that pop out, or a bear, um, it's little ears, you can do that. Um, I'm thinking a panda bear or something. Anyway, or like a, anyone that has ears. So. Cut those out of your cardboard as well, or if you have an idea for them, you can um, do that. The next thing we are going to do, based on what I wanna do here, is we're gonna make our guy 3D. And the first thing we're gonna do to, to enhance that is, because my guy has a beak, I'm gonna kinda make, I, I already cut out like a little nose or a beak out of the paper towel roll. So my little beak's gonna look like this. And the way I did that is I just took a paper towel holder or a um, toilet paper roll and I cut out, you know, obviously this kind of looks like a beak, but I cut a shape out of it to make it um, 3D. If you have any type of nose that protrudes out, you can um, cut your paper towel roll to do that. Um, just like I did the beak. And I actually cut two parts, um, a bottom and a top for my beak. But say you have like a panda bear again and you want a nose or um, some, maybe it's ears look like this, like if, if you're a monkey or use your imagination. But one thing I do want you guys to do is for his eyelids, see how I kind of made these triangles for the eyelids of the mask? It'd be cool if you guys can make kind of eyelids for your guy. And the way you do that is you just kind of make in your toilet paper roll a, a like diagonal shape, like a triangle shape out of your toilet paper roll. And it kind of becomes a 3D um, thing that you could attach to your mask to make kind of like eyelids that pop out, okay? So these are all gonna be different. It's up to you how you decorate your mask, but I'm putting these 3D elements on mine. Um, and the way you do that, you put the 3D elements on are with tape. So what I'm gonna do is I have this blue painter's tape and I'm gonna have to hold it like this now. Or, let me see. Yeah, and what I'm gonna do is hold 
my beak down and kind of just tape it, sorry, and tape it on there, okay? And then I'm also going to tape my eyes pieces on as well. And then um, I will come back and let you see, we're just kind of gonna sculpt um, the 3D parts of our mask. So cut out your mask and the things that you want to put on your mask to make it 3D and then um, get your tape out. And if you need help, just fast forward to the next video I have and you'll see what my project looks like in the taped phase, okay? And if not, um, you can jump ahead and see the whole project and then go back and do it yourself, okay? But I'm gonna stop here, tape my project up, and then um, I'll have a step three, okay? All right, have fun. I'll talk to you soon.